Throughout automotive history, there have been countless special editions of all types of vehicles. From the Eddie Bauer Ford Explorer, all the way to the 20-something some odd versions of the Bugatti Veyron that have come out. There was even a Gucci edition AMC Rambler. <laughs> But when you think about all those special editions of those vehicles, they really only amount to appearance packages. But with the 2016 Momo Edition Volkswagen Jetta GLI, things are a bit different. It meshes an extra bit of appearance with an extra bit of performance, and the way it comes together is actually quite interesting. So, the Momo Edition 2016 Volkswagen Jetta GLI. Again, more than just an appearance package, it's a performance package too. So what we have here is an APR Stage 1 tune. We've got our turbo boost up to about 20 is a maximum that I've seen. It's pushing 230 horsepower to the wheels, and that's about 255 at the crank. The performance feels closer to a Golf R than you'd expect, and that's really cool because right now we don't have anything that you're able to buy in between a regular GTI or GLI and a Golf R. So to split the difference between that is pretty cool and is something that is probably needed in the marketplace. So because the performance of the Momo Edition Jetta GLI is about halfway to the Golf R as far as horsepower goes, that's pretty nice. But what's even nicer is that we're wearing a set of really sticky Pirelli P0 tires and we are on lowered h and suspension. So, suspension and chassis wise, we're actually more than a Golf R. And you combine those things and that's why you get more impressive performance than you'd expect from something that really is halfway between a GLI and a Golf R. And one way that you really get to see that demonstrated is when you put it in sport mode and you hit launch control. So, let's demonstrate that right now. All right, so I'm going to shift into sport mode, turn traction control off, then I'm going to make sure I yeah, press and hold it there, press and hold the accelerator, and release. And we've got fun times. Now again, because of those sticky Pirelli P0s, it wasn't just a straight up burnout, I actually had some forward progress there got my special little readout here in the left air conditioning vent that will give me anything from boost pressure to RPM, miles per hour, shift uh, light, stuff like that. And uh, another cool feature that it has is 0 to 60. So uh, that's always fun to play with. I had three people in this car one time when I did a launch control start. I saw 5.9 seconds of 60. So not a slouch at all. So we've established that the performance is really nice, especially during launch control. But even when you're just driving around like a normal civilized human being, which I'm not, it is still a comfortable car. It's really, really lowered, so uh, at its present state, in its show car level of ride height, it is rubbing in corners that you take harder than 7 tenths, but it's an easily adjustable suspension. You can get an extra inch of ride height out of this thing, and uh, then you've got a more functional vehicle. So right now it's at show level for photos and video and all the prettiness that comes along with a lowered vehicle. But um, even as low as it is, I'm still not having to go extremely surgically slow over speed bumps. I just have to be careful. It's not really that bad, even as low as it sits right now. Momo has livened up the interior with the yellow accents uh, in the form of the yellow trim on the bright work that used to be red in the regular GLI. Uh, they've also added yellow stitching, which adds a little bit more brightness to the interior. And, of course, the Momo logos that you see in the headrests. So when you think of Momo, you probably think of steering wheels and their involvement in motorsport, but there's a lot more to Momo than that. I mean, they're about overall performance, and what we've got on this vehicle from Momo is some really, really cool wheels. Even just the way when it feels when you touch them. I've never felt handguns that felt as quality to touch as these wheels. So uh, it's not just about looks, it's also about feel through the steering wheel and even when you're touching them when you're washing the car. So the question after living with this Momo Jetta GLI for a week is, should they actually come out with a factory production version of this car? 
And I think the answer is yes. I think it's a wonderful step between our level Volkswagen and regular GLI. And um, the infusion of style that Momo adds, the infusion of substance as well, performance meeting extra style, I think it's a great combo. Why wouldn't you want this as a production car? If this were to become a factory-backed special edition Jetta, the price would have to be right. Say somewhere between a fully loaded Jetta GLI and a fully loaded Golf R. If Momo and Volkswagen can pull that off, this cohesive upgrade package will be a must-have for the VW faithful.